Because you've chosen the Infinium LS, you're probably a veteran treasure hunter. But you must understand that this remarkable detector represents a totally new direction for Garrett and the entire treasure hunting world. Because it's a more sensitive instrument than you've ever used before, you're going to hear more and different sounds from a detector than you've ever heard before. Always remember that because the Infinium LS is a motion mode detector, the search coil must be moving slightly to maintain any detection sound. You'll be amazed at the exceptional stability of the Infinium LS, especially in those hostile environments where conventional detectors fail to perform. Even in heavily mineralized soil, Garrett's advanced pulse induction circuitry will provide the unbeatable depth that enables you to find more treasure. Control housing of the Infinium LS, L for land and S for sea, is waterproof and fully submersible. The detector comes equipped with a 10 by 14 inch power double D search coil, headphones for hunting on land, and a handle stem assembly. Waterproof headphones for use beneath the ocean's surface or in the surf are available as an accessory item. Four different configurations are possible with the Infinium. The housing can be mounted above or below the stem, under the cuff, and as most prefer, on the belt. For ease of use, Garrett recommends wearing the housing on your belt or mounting it under the cuff. Let's take the detector into the field and discuss the basics of using it. First, turn on the detector by turning the automatic ground track knob to the lock position. Hear the four beeps? Whenever you turn on the Infinium, its batteries are checked automatically and their condition reported to you. Four beeps indicate that batteries are fully charged. If you should ever hear just one beep, that indicates the batteries need to be changed within an hour or two. There are two additional dials to adjust. We'll set the threshold, the background sound made by your detector while you're hunting. Adjust the threshold to a level that suits your individual requirements. Charles Garrett always recommends that you hunt with the sound level set just above silent. To achieve maximum depth, it is recommended that you leave discrimination at zero or set it at a low level until you are familiar with the conditions of your search area and the types of trash metal items that you want to eliminate from detection. Zero discrimination enables you to locate all metallic objects, even those that would be overlooked by conventional detectors in a harsh environment.